This week's whistle is the Smart Woody, or sometimes you'll see just Woody, W-O-O-D-I, in C. This is one of the commonly available Sasato clones, made entirely of ABS. has a removable headpiece. It's tunable to a point, not particularly, but you can move it up a little bit. There's no cavity under the windway. It has a curved windway with a plug underneath that stops flat right here. So that has the advantage of sort of evening the tone out a little bit. However, my experience with these has been mixed. Mostly not mixed leaning toward the side of positive. This one is not the worst one I have seen, but they do tend to be really shrill and difficult to nail down in some of the higher octave notes. Something about the physics involved with this particular design or ABS plastic that Sasato mostly gets right and most of the clones don't really causes those higher notes to be difficult at times to transition into from the lower octave sort of a you get a shriek or a out of tune recorder like buzz on the other hand in the lower octave or when you are doing more separated individual notes it does have a really nice bright clear tone so this this whistle is it's not bad it's just not great either. The pros are it's in, it's virtually indestructible. I mean, unless you run over it with the car or slam it in a door, it's going to be fine. Weather, temperature, none of that stuff affects it. They're, they're not bad looking. And they sound good under specific constraints. The cons are fast playing, especially with a lot of jumping between octaves, does not work well on this whistle. And you probably could hear that in the demo tunes, I mean, I'm not playing them perfectly necessarily, but if you listen, the jumps into the higher octave notes are not smooth. And I've played those tunes on other whistles where that wasn't an issue. Overall, I do like these Sasato clones for practice whistles that can be thrown in the glove compartment of a hot car. They can be kept in a travel bag, they can be pretty much taken anywhere except for a vat of acid or a garbage compactor, and they will still play pretty much at the same level. I think also it can be useful for someone who's going to really practice with one of these whistles, because I think one can eventually master the very precise breath control that it's going to take to get those octave jumps and those high notes to really work. But with some of these, it's so difficult that we're talking about years here. So is it a good beginner whistle? Not particularly, simply because that upper note access and those weird recorder buzz sounds are going to really put you off. On the other hand, they're not expensive. You can usually get a C and a D one together for about 20 bucks, making at a $10 whistle. It's kind of a, eh, maybe everyone should have one just as a personal challenge to try and get it to perform like your other whistles. I don't know. The whistle this week was the Woody, Smart Woody in C. And I look forward to seeing you next week when we play something completely different.